Um, I'm going to go ahead and set uh, the scanner to remove infected files automatically. And it's saying uh, something like, uh, if you enable this feature, an entire compressed file will be deleted if anything is found inside of it. Uh, this means that even clean files will, in the compressed file will also be deleted. I, I don't care, really. Just delete them. No, I want it to be on. That may see, seem kind of irresponsible, but um, maybe I would choose differently on a real PC. I don't know. Before I do any kind of virus removal stuff, I'll always image the customer's computer. Uh, that way, if anything goes wrong, I have a backup image. And I can just revert to certain files if I need to. That's the kind of stuff you're not seeing here. You're basically seeing me going wild on some kind of malware uh, infestation you know, kill, kill, kill kind of thing. But that's what these videos are about. And you can see the infection is real serious now um, with all these pop-ups. And then I'm um, actually going to go ahead and kill the network connection and just rely on the 22-day definitions. And um, I'll update the defs later because uh, their server isn't responding. So you can see it's <clears throat> really, really slow at this point. Okay, let's see if I can... Okay, good, I can navigate this now. Um, I'm not scanning Microsoft Office files, I don't care. I'm going to turn on Advanced Heuristic Protection. Basically what we're trying to do is say, okay, we want... We want Norton to find it and kill it if it thinks it's bad. That, again, is dangerous, but I'd also have an image of this PC, so I don't care. Uh, Low-risk threats, remove them. Norton considers way too many annoying things low-risk. And let me tell you, they're not low-risk. This is awesome right here. Auto protect, early load. Every antivirus needs to have an early load. Every single antivirus application out there, thank you, XP2008. Every single antivirus uh, application out there should load before Windows does, uh, or, you know, right as Windows is loading. Uh, I see so many antivirus applications that load like after everything else loads. Bad idea. Um, there's some things I don't know about. I'm sure somebody will tell me. They have sonar advanced protection. I haven't even looked that up. I should have, but I didn't have time. Um, so that's it for the antivirus configuration. I basically just cranked everything all the way up. And as you can see, nothing's happening. There are no windows popping up down here saying something's been found. It's kind of weird. It's when I reboot that it pretty much destroys everything at once. Uh, well, almost everything. Hint, hint. Um, internet settings. I really don't get into the internet stuff too much, like the firewall and stuff. Personally, I'm behind a, a Cisco PIX firewall at home. Um, and I, I just, I'm not, just not testing firewall stuff at this point. Um, the interface is extremely buggy at this point. I can't really operate the bar too well. Um, it's saying, do I want anti-spam enabled? No, I don't have any Outlook stuff on here at all. Browser protection is on. 
Instant Messenger is on. Intrusion Protection is on. Intrusion Auto Block is on. Smart Firewall, Program Control. That might be interesting. Let me see if I can click that. Some of these I may have to come back to after the PC is cleaned up. Because right now it's a total uh, pain in the ass to actually use this. It is slow. You know, there's no getting around that. Again, I don't know whose fault it is. Uh, we'll find out once the PC's kind of been rebooted and cleaned. I think it's a little odd that um, the on-axis scanner, the real-time scanner, is enabled and it's doing zip. It's doing nothing at this point. So I need to reboot this guy. Um, what I'm going to do is pause the video real quick, and then I'm going to show you the reboot process. Hang on a second.